I think the I mean, the issue of the titles of the Gospels, I think, is a very interesting one, and I I, I don't pretend to have a um, a fully conclusive um, reasoning on it because I think there are some very tricky issues involved. Um, it's very often said that the Gospels are anonymous. And, of course, in the sense that the, the authors are not named within the text of the Gospels, that's perfectly true, they are anonymous. Uh, we only have the titles to tell us uh, purported names of the authors. Um, but actually a great deal of ancient literature, Greek and Roman literature, is anonymous in just the same sense. In other words, the authors are not named within the text of the works. We only know, know who the author is uh, from the titles that, that have come down to us, but they're titles that were given by scribes or librarians or whatever um, so in a sense it's true that the gospels are anonymous but it doesn't mean that they were intended to circulate without names um, now I think the Luke, case of Luke's gospel is, is, is particularly interesting here because Luke of course has a preface in which he dedicates his work to a named patron Theophilus um, I think it's inconceivable that a work dedicated to a named patron would have been anonymous in the sense that nobody knew who wrote it. Um, Theophilus would have known who wrote it, and the earliest uh, circles of people who, wrote, who, who, who read it would have known who wrote it. Now, I think Bart agrees that the, the, that the first people who read the Gospels knew who wrote them, but I think he thinks that this easily got forgotten um, as the Gospels circulated. Um, one, one key issue there that I think Martin Hengel highlighted very well is once let's take the case of Luke's gospel suppose everyone knew who Luke, who Luke was in the original circle or where he wrote it it passes down to other churches people make copies take it around most of those churches to which Luke circulates already have Mark's gospel they have to have a way of distinguishing one gospel from the other and nobody seems to me to have thought of a way in which they could have distinguished them other than calling them the Gospel according to Mark and the Gospel according to Luke. I mean, I'm okay. just trying to establish that the traditional names attached okay. to the Gospels, um, that there's a good case for saying that those names were always attached to the Gospels yes. from the beginning. Now, who they were, whether Mark was yeah. John Mark and so forth, that's, right. that's another 